I want you to close your eyes and just slow your heart rate down and slow your breathing. But be aware of your breath and your heart. Visualize a bright light above your head. This light is extremely bright, but it's not hurting, it's not painful. It has a sense of warmness and comfort. Now this light just slowly starts to touch the top of your head. It starts to move in through your neck. As it starts to move down through your body, any pain that you've had starts to just fade away as the light slowly moves down through your lower back, past your opu, your stomach, down into your legs, healing anything that it's moving past. And then it slowly exits out through your feet into the earth. This light is now expanding and touching everyone in here. And this light just represents all things good, joy, love, peace, happiness. Now I want you to take this time to imagine yourself being back in the valley. It's a living place and when you come into this place, it's not a forest, it's not a valley, it's a, it's a family. So Kahiki Laulani, the matriarch, she's embodied by the breeze in the valley. Kamavai Lualani, the circle in the middle of the sky, that was the patriarch. So if you ever see in the valley, if you come here again and you see a circle in the middle of the sky, like a blue sky in the middle of the clouds, that's the sign of Kamavai Lualani. So their three children were Ho'omoi'ihi Kapulani, that's him on the right, Keana Kamano, that's him in the middle, Mauna Kapu, that's the princess, that's the woman on the left. And then every descendant from then on has place names in this valley moving forward. So you see the spirit of the family is married to the land in that way. This is a great place to connect to, to breathe into. Inhale into your nose. Exhale. Now also, I want you guys to take away any sounds or any colors or any feelings that you guys felt. What would that look like to put that on the wall and the mural and have other people experience that and have a connection to the earth and the aina? I want you guys to think of everyone in this school, on this island, and even in this circle. And I want you guys to pass them a positive affirmation of love and a healthy life. Because without that, Hawaii will not be Hawaii, and the people here will not be able to experience the love that these islands have. My favorite part was getting to understand the area and then be able to show the images on the wall that were going through everyone's head together. I always wanted to do something when it came to expressing Hawaiian culture to our school and you know we are 75% military so for the kids to have a chance to get deeper into the Hawaiian culture and where the land is from was I knew was the experience that they normally would not have had. So I wanted to make sure that their time in Hawaii really got the Hawaiian culture involved. So when I learned about what Mele Miro does and the kids are the leaders of it, it was, it was almost like a perfect fit. That begins our stories telling about the three peaks and just being military, I've lived in a lot of different places, but doing this made Hawaii the most special, and it just made me realize that like, even though I've lived in a lot of different places, this is my home, and I want to like, be able to make it better, and I want to be able to help people here. I'm moving relatively soon, and I think that being able to 
do something like, as big and as important as this and to make something so beautiful that's going to last so long is just something that I really relish and I, I'm really happy about. Just want to welcome everyone here today, our student body, our staff, as well as special guests and parents uh, to our unveiling ceremony. I'm humbled and very appreciative of the process that our students went through, especially our whole student body being able to be a part of this mural that can last them memories for a lifetime. I feel like this mural speaks a lot to everyone. If you're not Hawaiian or, and you know, you're not from here, we're all connected to some way or another, to some part of the land. And uh, I just hope that it speaks to you guys and you guys are able to share it with others. We as the future generation need to preserve this valley so the life of all living things, the stories and culture can live on.